Hello, it's Rachel. Today I'm working in my Prima Mixed Media book to create an art journal page. I'm beginning here with some torn pieces of text and I'm going to apply these to my page with some golden matte medium. Next, I'm going to add these orchids to my page, again using matte medium, and these are images that I've taken from a napkin. For the background colour, I've chosen to use fresco finished paints by Paper Artsy. The colours I've chosen are mermaid, vanilla and chalk. Now I'm adding some stamping to my page, for this I've chosen two stamps, the first is a script stamp by Indigo Blue which I'm stamping in Cornflower and the second is a crackle background stamp from Stampin' Up which I stamp using watering can.
These are salvage stickers from the Crowded Attic collection by Tim Holtz and from here I've chosen to use three butterflies. I add these stickers to my page and then I coat the whole page with a layer of golden matte medium and this is so that all the elements have the same uniform matte finish. For the text on my page, I'm also using some Tim Holtz stickers. These are three of the black coloured sentiments from the Small Talk sticker set. To create some depth and contrast on the page, I'm using a Derwent charcoal pencil to outline some of the elements. I then smudge this charcoal into the page using a cotton bud. Here I'm using Spectrafix which is a pastel fixative and this is going to ensure that the charcoal does not move when I add additional layers. I then use a Crafters Workshop stencil, this is the mini tail texture with some Liquitex light modelling paste.
After the modelling paste has dried, I've chosen to paint it using a Stuart Gill Metamica paint. The colour here is Blue Steel. And if you're wondering why I don't add this directly to the texture paste, it's for two reasons. Firstly, because it changes the consistency of the modelling paste, which makes it harder to stencil. And also, metallic colours don't pick up very well in modelling paste, and the colours also tend to be muted. To darken the border around my page, I've chosen to use some archival ink in jet black. I'm applying this with a piece of Ranger Cut and Dry Foam, and then after this, I use some Golden Fluid Acrylic in carbon black to add some splatters to my page. And that is everything for today. If you enjoyed watching, I do appreciate it when you hit that like button or you leave me a comment. As always, there is a link to the full product list in the video description. There's also details of my mixed media challenge group over on Facebook and my other social media sites. If you are new to my channel, I would love you to subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber, you might want to make sure that you've hit the little bell button that appears below the video to make sure that you get notifications of every video I upload.